Hi. Let's move on to the next chapter, experimental techniques. So this is the measurement and apparatus. So it's stated in your syllabus that uh, you need to know all these apparatus and there are a few more pages. So come on, let's get started. So measurement, so in your paper 6 or very seldom in your paper uh, 4, uh, they were asked in paper 2 also, your multiple choice. So they say how to measure time. Okay, so time, you have to use this. This is a stopwatch. Okay, if you ask how to measure temperature, then you can say use this, a thermometer. Okay, so usually standard in the lab is a mercury thermometer. Now then, the one that they want to test your understanding is this trick. Okay, so first you need to compare what is the difference between this trick to measure volume. Okay, so here if this you have this shape and then there's a scale at the side. This is called a bill rate. Usually you can see it in your acid and base chapter. Okay, very common. Okay, bill rate. Okay, then if you want to measure volume, you can also use this. So there's a difference if there's no scale it's a gas jar okay if you see lines at the side with a scale so this must be a measuring measuring cylinder okay measuring cylinder so um if they want to compare which is better a burette or a measuring cylinder it will be definitely burette is more accurate okay compared with these two this burette is more accurate okay so there's sometimes in ig they'll ask you uh, so which is uh which is the what is advantage of measuring cylinder so the good thing about measuring cylinder is it is actually i can measure volume faster okay so to be more exact burette is more accurate and then measuring the cylinder has is faster therefore less accurate Okay, so if you're going to compare also another, let's say, oh, how to improve on the measuring of volume. So there's another option, which is this pipette. Okay, so pipette is very, very accurate compared to these two, more accurate than burette. So you can see this. Okay, so this is about the same. Okay, so I hand drawn it. So it's about 25 uh, ml, 25 cm cube. So this is the, what they call it, moles accurate okay uh, so you can pause and digest before i move on to the next one okay so let's move the durian away let's put it back there's a pewter very good weight very special anyway uh so these are the common apparatus so Paper 6, they'll ask you the top is the common and the bottom is a little bit different. So in your uh, paper 6, sorry, paper 6, they'll ask you all kinds of um, label, all kinds of apparatus. So you get a, quite a bit of marks. So when you see these are easy ones, we have a scale like this. This must be a, a beaker. Okay. Uh, so the shape like this, a quick recap, a conical flask. Okay. Uh, so if you cannot read my writing, please comment at the bottom and then I'll improve on it. Okay, and then this must be a filter funnel. Okay, so they do accept funnel if you write it. And when you see a shape like this, you yeah, usually exam, they print it in 2D. So this is a tripod stand. Okay, tripod stand. So there's three legs actually, but when they draw it in, uh, when they print on 2D, you can see only two legs. So you have a Bunsen burner at the bottom to heat up whatever chemicals on top. Now this is a tricky, this is quite tricky. So in the exam, you see a shape like this, okay? Sometimes they give you more tips and then they say, okay, heat up and all. So when you see a shape like this, most probably it is a evaporating dish, okay? What does the evaporating dish do? You put the you know, salt and stuff, and then to allow the water to dry off, okay, evaporating dish, so a shape like this. So if you go to lab, you see a dish to crystallize salts. Here, now when you see a little cup like this, like a tiny little bowl, but not a big bowl, a tiny little bowl with a lid. Sometimes it gets tough when they do not give you the lid. 
okay uh, so you read the question they said heat up and all so if it goes like this uh, a bit of difference if you see beaker is all straight okay this one is a bit slanting so this is a crucible okay you heat up you can heat up a crucible and then the one on top is the lid okay so if they ask you to label uh, please recall now this is of course everyone knows but a lot of times they like to ask oh this is which is pestle which is mortar so remember pestle and mortar so pestle must be on top and then mortar is at the bottom or you can remember mortar you know mortar board when you graduate you wear a mortar board look something like this you know mortar board so mortar is flat okay pestle is the one that smash it okay now these are the more common apparatus now uh, when things get a bit more complicated they want to increase the difficulty of the question so you can see this uh, this is a little bit a little bit more different okay uh, so if you can okay look at this thing here so uh, this is you in the you can learn in the acid and base chapter so in the acid and base chapter you see uh, something like this okay a funnel on top then they ask you to label the label what is that okay so that is a of course a tisto funnel so this thing here is a tisto okay funnel okay a bit different so this is a filter funnel this is a tisto funnel so if they ask you oh what's the use of a tisto funnel so tisto funnel is to add acid in it okay add acid so uh, what kind of acid Oops. okay so you can add is to add acid so the acid will go all the way down okay all the way down here okay so if you observe when you draw okay be careful uh, this thing okay is immersed into the liquid okay so here okay this is also a, a funnel now this is a bit different this is quite popular also in the exam they want to test whether you know how to collect gases okay so when you collect gas and all so there's two different gases one is more dense than uh, uh, air one is less dense than air so if the gas okay if the gas is uh, more dense than air okay so the gas jar will be here that is okay so okay so that when the gas here the gas goes in and then it goes in and then it will be collected here okay uh, so then if they say okay oops sorry let me move it a bit up sorry okay so then if they say oh if this gas is less dense than air uh, we have to flip the gas jar so this is a gas jar we have to flip the gas jar like this and inverted so that when the gas is produced here it will be collected on top so are these they like to test okay so if you observe that there's the there's a the gas jar there's no scale okay very clearly stated there's no scale so uh, there's a difference of a gas jar and a measuring cylinder okay now let's move on okay let me check something quick, quick one okay we want to improve this as a dropping funnel okay let's move on next paper okay here now uh, this is also popular so they will say oh they will give you this apparatus and they ask you to label so there are a few things here if they ask what is this you just say a flask okay now then you have to connect it such a way hold on and get a color here okay so this is simple distillation we'll be learning later in detail so you sew it off so the gas comes in here and then they like to ask what is this thing this orange color thing so this is because the hot gas will pass through this this is to cool down the hot gas so this place here this orange color apparatus is called a condenser okay and also they like to ask how the water 
flow in and out of the condenser. So condenser is to cool down the hot gas inside. So there's hot gas. You want it to condense and become liquid and drops down. So then they like to ask, oh, so the water should come in here from the bottom or come in from the top. So uh, so you can use a bit of uh, you know logic here. So to make it filled with water, you need to pump in water here. Okay, water in here. So if you pump in water in here, okay, water, H2O. Then this will be filled up. So this whole thing will be filled out and then uh, water out. Okay, if you go to the lab, you see this thing. This is this is from the water pipe. And then it goes fill up and then it goes to the, the basin. Okay, uh, so if they ask you, uh, what is this? Flask, this condenser. And then one mark, one mark. So that's four marks. Okay, so this is a simple distillation. You learn more about this later. Okay, and then one last apparatus then. If your teacher really want to test you in your exam, they'll put in this hand drawn. That's nice, right. Okay, good. So then once again they ask you what is this apparatus? So this is a, a flask. Okay. And then they ask you, oh, what is this? Now this is uh if you do the 10 year series. Um, about two to three times they ask this thing okay so if you uh, this is called a fractionating column okay uh, so this this here are all the glass bits okay glass bits got it so fractionating column okay so what happens is that you heat it up and then the gas will go in and then it will condense here. So it asks, what is this? This is the thermometer. Okay. And once again, this orange thing here is a condenser. Okay. It's the same water in and then water out. Okay. So I explain more of this later. This is actually fractional distillation, but they'll put it in and then they ask you to label the apparatus. Okay, any questions, please drop a comment at the bottom and please subscribe.